Sir, what happens if I have this planet in the eighth house from Venus? So we are continuing with the planets from where your Venus is placed, right? So we completed almost seven houses or more, I guess. So now it's the turn of the eighth house, right? So what happens when you have a particular planet in the eighth house from your Venus, wherever your Venus is placed from there, not from your ascendant, right? Disclaimer once again, from Venus, not ascendant, not your moon, not your sun, not your Lagna Lord, right? Your Venus, wherever Venus is, eight houses from there. But first of all, we have to understand what does the eighth house from Venus show, right? So before you watch this video, uh, I would love to know from you, uh, what planets do you have in the eighth house from your Venus? And how have you experienced that planet, right? So you got to understand that the eighth house from Venus represents fears and vulnerabilities that we have in our relationships, right? Now, what does Venus represent in the first place? Venus represents love, romance, relationships, creativity, uh, cooking, eating, fine dining, like uh, can also represent jewelry, diamonds. Um, it can show marriage. It can show your spouse, committed partners, right? So here, Venus uh, is representing all of these, but depending on your chart, you have to identify which aspect it is, right? Venus also represents vehicles and you know interior design, home and all these things. So for example, if in your chart, Venus is lording a particular house, which represents one particular aspect of these things, which Venus represents, then Venus can specifically represent that uh, rather than explicitly representing your spouse. So for example, if your Venus is the fourth lord, it can primarily show a uh, property or vehicle or something like this right property doesn't mean home uh, but your interior of the house or something like this right but of course if venus rules your fifth lord or seventh lord then uh, fifth or seventh house then it can explicitly show your spouse right but because venus is primarily the karaka for love and relationships and marriage as the karaka of a wife uh, in a man's chart so we will consider the aspects uh, of the seventh house primarily, which is, you know, marriage and uh, spouse and relationships, right? But as I said, you can also consider the other aspects depending on which house Venus rules in your horoscope, right? Okay, so once you, once you see where your Venus is, check the eighth house from Venus. Check who is the lord of the eighth house from Venus, right? So many times you will see that your eighth house from Venus is actually empty. So people will ask, oh, what does it mean if the eighth house from Venus is empty? Does it mean that I do not have any fears and insecurities, right? Well, not really. Because no matter what is there in the eighth from your Venus, there will always be a Lord, right? So you can never have a situation where you do not have any ruler from the eighth house from Venus, right? So everybody has certain vulnerabilities and fears within relationships. So that's what we are going to discuss today. So eighth house from Venus shows our fears. Now, what does it mean? Fear, right? Fear of what? Fear of losing the person? Well, not necessarily. Could be. But it shows something which it, it's like a kind of fear where we think that this could maybe break our marriage or relationship or maybe due to this uh, something which has which have already happened in the past can again end up happening in this life also i mean in this relationship sorry <laughs> or it could also be actually past life traumas which can you know carry on to this life right so for example uh, it, it, it can be possible that, you know, if uh, you have Mars Rahu or you know, Mars Ketu in the 8th house from Venus, it can be possible that uh, you might have faced, uh, you know, some kind of uh, physical abuse from your partner, right? It is possible in some cases if the horoscope is indicating that by other factors, right? Uh, I'm giving a disclaimer just because 
you have Mars Rahu, Mars Ketu in the eighth from Venus. Now don't freak out and say, oh, will my spouse beat me? No, not, not like that. But let's assume you have that and you experience something, right? So then it means you might have this fear that, oh, now if I get married or if I get married again or if I get into another relationship, the same thing may end up happening with me again, right? So you have this morbid fear within you. Should you go ahead and get into another relationship or remarry after a divorce or separation, right? So that could be the scenario, right? And uh, sometimes what happens is uh, you have planets like Saturn in the 8th from Venus, right? So, which is a very difficult placement because it can show a fear of being abandoned by uh, your spouse, right? So, it can, it, it can mean that either one of the two things, which means you may, you might have been abandoned in the childhood or whatever by your parents or some friend or a you know, friend of friend or you did not get good recognition in your school or within your society, something like this happened, but that trauma is continuing in your relationships, okay? Because Saturn can show trauma at times. Saturn shows neglect, basically, right? So, but Saturn shows neglect for everybody. The thing is, if he's in the eight from Venus, then he can show that you are carrying on these traumas, which has, which have necessarily not come from past relationships, but from anybody else into your relations, right? That that could be the scenario sometimes, right? So therefore, if you have difficult planets and especially from your ascendant, from your lagna, if you have the Lord of the sixth house placed uh, in the eighth house from Venus, right? Then it can mean that you have a fear that this relationship will break. It will not sustain. It will not survive, right? Something like this, right? So there can be n number of scenarios. Now imagine you are um, imagine you are a Cancer Lagna, right? And your who is your sixth lord for Cancer? Jupiter is the sixth lord, right? And imagine he is placed um, in the eighth house from Venus, right? So now what happens now? Jupiter is primarily the sixth lord. He's also the ninth lord in Cancer, right? But because he's the sixth lord and Sagittarius is in the sixth house, so there will be a fear of uh, this relationship breaking, right? But because he's the ninth lord, along with being the lord of the sixth from the Lagna, so he will also give you help through astrologers or you know counselors or guides or somebody like this, right? Through which you can protect your marriage, save your marriage. Maybe that's probable. Uh, but because he's Jupiter, he will do it in amicable ways. Like, for example, even if there is a separation, you will part ways in a way. You will still be in good terms with your spouse, right? You won't fight like cats and dogs, right? But if Mars, Rahu, you know, or Saturn is involved, you know, then it's like... You may, you, you. And if they are lording the six from Lugman, they are in the eight from Venus. It's like a terrible situation because you might feel this need to you know abuse that person insult that person you know downgrade that person denigrate that person and right? do what not my god right ruin that person's uh, image or reputation or something like this right uh, especially in the close circles right that is something you may do so if you know uh, that okay you had this you know boyfriend or girlfriend or husband wife and you know they have certain you know close people and now out of envy you cannot tolerate and then you may end up doing certain things which you might regret later, all right? So therefore, now you know what is going on in the 8th from Venus. So rather than running away from it, address that issue. Sit with your spouse and discuss it, right? What is it that you are fearful of? Now, of course, I'm not saying that just go and look at your chart and you know just go and sit someday and do this. But in case you look at your chart and you feel that, yes, this is something which is actually your fear, right? So, for example, there's Saturn and you are fearful that, you know, you will be abandoned or Saturn is the Lord of the eighth house from Venus. Then also th this fear can be there, right? Fear of being abandoned by somebody someday, right? So, therefore, you, you, you got to address this issue with your spouse, right? Rather than just 
brushing it under the carpet and just ignoring it, right? So there are many videos which I have made on, you know, planets from Venus, like 6th house, 7th house, 5th house, so, so, so. Please watch those videos. Not because um, they will give you a correct answer, but if you watch those videos, then you will get an idea, you will get a good direction of which that which side my problem could be coming from, right? So once you know that, you know, ask yourself, well, what is it? Is it some external issue which is always creating problems in my relationships? You know, then maybe it's a planet in the sixth from Venus, right? Or maybe it's an internal fear which is, you know, traumatizing me and that's ending up ruining every relationship that I get into or you know, every marriage. Then that's the planet in the eighth from Venus, right? Or if you feel, you know, that you both cannot work together when you are like, you know, doing activities together, you are like, you know, damaging each other, then it's planet in the seventh from Venus, right? Or you generally don't feel happy in relationships, then it's the planet in the fourth from Venus, right? So you got to, you got to identify the problem first, right? You will, you should only run after solutions once after you identify the problem, if you do not identify the problem, where will you look to, right? Because astrology is very complex and there will be some planet in some house from some planet, right? <laughs> you will never find, uh, I mean, that's not possible. It's like something is always there from somewhere. <laughs> some planet will always be in the eighth house from some other planet, right? Or for some other house, right? So some planet will always end up troubling some other house, right? For example, Saturn, wherever Saturn is placed, he will always be eighth from some house, right? Even if that house is empty, but still he's, he will be in the eighth from some other house. So there will be challenges there, right? So that's how life is, as uh, Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, right? Dukhalam uh, Ashashvatam, that this material world is a place of misery, right? Now, of course, uh, it is miserable. The material world is very miserable, right? But it doesn't have to be always miserable, right? But the question is, if it is miserable, if Krishna has already declared that the material world is Dukhalaya Mashashvatam, it's a place of misery, how is it possible that it need not be always miserable, right? So, when Krishna says that this material world is a place of misery, he does not necessarily mean all the tidbit sufferings that we get in our life. It means at the end, it is just suffering, right? Because even if you are a millionaire, you are a billionaire, you are the most beautiful, handsome, charming person of this world, you are the most intelligent, you are most famous, you are most powerful, it's going to end one day, right? So in that sense, Krishna says, it is miserable and of course, during our life also, we keep getting a lot of miseries, right? But there's one way, as Krishna says, you know, that if you think of me at the time of death, you will come back to me yet, and once you come back, you will not return, right? And Krishna says, you will not. Krishna is giving this guarantee. It's not guarantee of some entrepreneur or some president or politician, right? Or some bank, right? Anything can happen anytime in this material world, but Lord Krishna is giving this guarantee that once you come back to me, you will never return. This is the guarantee Lord Krishna is giving. Not me, not anybody, you. <laughs> right? All guarantees of this world will eventually fall flat one day. Right? Nobody can protect you if Krishna does not protect you. All right? So therefore, try and address this problem of fear within your relationships and try to see how you can do some spiritual practices, you know, like for example, chant mantras, you know, do some homa or yajna or puja or visit holy places or, you know, try to do some fasting on those days and try to give donations and that's how you can actually digest the fear that you have of course, along with that, as I said, please address this consciously with your spouse, right? 
only then there is some hope otherwise eighth house as i say is the graveyard and you can sink there right if you are not careful all right so if you feel that there is something which is bogging you non-stop within relationships then please go and see the planet which is in the eighth from venus that might be your clue all right thank you very much for your patience and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section thank you very much